हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू टीचिंग पाठशाला दिस इज द थर्ड पार्ट इन विच वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व अ क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम 2015 दिसंबर एंड दिस क्वेश्चन वी हैव टेकन फ्रॉम द पार्ट सी एंड अगेन दिस क्वेश्चन इज फ्रॉम दैट एरिया इन विच यू आर गोइंग टू गेट अ गुड अमाउंट ऑफ एक्सपीरियंस देन ओनली यू विल एबल टू अटेंड दिस टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन सो लेट्स मूव टू द क्वेश्चन फर्स्ट थ्री सोमैटिक हाइब्रिड सेल लाइन डिजाइंड एज एक्स वाई जेड हैव बीन स्कोर्ड फॉर द प्रेजेंस और द एबसेंस ऑफ क्रोमोजोम नंबर वन थ्रू एट as well as for their ability to produce the hypothetical gene product that is a b c d as shown in the following table so they have given you a hybrid cell line that is x y z and they told that there is a presence of a chromosome from chromosome number 1 to chromosome number 8 and that chromosomes are responsible for the production of an enzyme or you can say that the production of a gene product that is a b c and d and now you have to find that which gene is going to be present on which chromosome so in the i think second part of this video we have seen that uh, there is a one more question which is just like this only in which we have matched the different sign okay we have matched the plus sign with the given plus sign and in that way we have got the answer so we are going to apply the same logic here also but somehow we should uh, first know that what is the concept behind all these types of questions so first let's see that there is a chromosome number 1 which is going to show its presence in uh, three of the hybrid cell line that is x y and z and that is indicated in a plus sign and if you want to tally this uh, overall condition with the gene product then you can see that there is a, a gene d that is also going to show a similar pattern that is it is also present in all the uh, three hybrid cell line so from here we can conclude that the gene d is going to be present on the chromosome number 1 now let's talk about the gene b so from the given data you can see that the gene b is present in the hybrid cell line that is the x and it is absent in the y and it is again present in the z so it is somehow indicating the pattern of plus minus plus now we have to tally the same pattern with the given chromosomal data so if we uh, tally this then we can see that there is a chromosome number 3 which is going to follow the same pattern that is the plus minus plus the absence of a sign is indicating the absence of that activity so we can consider that absence as a minus so if you see the chromosome number 3 there is a plus then uh, there is not no sign and again there is a plus so where there is a absence of a sign we used to consider that there is a sign of a minus which is indicating the absence of something so we can say that the gene b is going to be present on the chromosome number 3 now let's move to the gene c so from the data you can see that there is a absence of gene c that means the gene c is not going to present in any of the chromosome okay so we don't have to consider the gene c in this question if you tally gene c with the different hybrid lines you can see that the gene c is neither present in x nor in y and nor in z so we just have to eliminate the gene c from our explanation now only one gene is left that is the gene a now we have to tally the overall expression of a gene a with the given chromosomal data if you see the expression of a gene a it is absent in uh, hybrid cell line x it is present in y and it is again present in z so somehow it is showing its expression only in y and z and it is absent in x now we have to search for the same chromosome which is going to show a same pattern that is the minus plus plus so if you see, if you tally the data you can see that there is a chromosome number 5 which is showing the same data that is the minus plus plus again the blank square is going to represent the absence of something and in the gene product the minus sign is also indicating the absence of that gene at that place so we concluded that the gene a is going to be coded by the chromosome number 5 if we match our conclusion with the given option then we can see that the conclusion which we have drawn is going to be matched with the option 4 of this question so the correct answer is the answer 4 which is gene a is present on the chromosome number 5 gene b on chromosome number 3 and gene d on the chromosome number 1 in this way we have solved one complex question in a very simple way so try to practice more questions mainly on this types of concept and this types of logic then only you are going to get experience regarding all these types of question in the upcoming video we are going to talk about the excess formation of a drosophila i hope this video was helpful for you and you can share this video with your friends i have already uploaded the two part of this video if you have not seen that video then i will mention the link in the last of this video and if you are new to my channel you can subscribe my channel for getting more different videos on csi and net and gate and don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you will be notified with my each and every new video uploads thank you